today. Oh yeah, hello. How are you doing today? Jim Ritter here. Jim Ritter and Tina. Uncle Jim and Aunt Tina. Find me at J Ritter 660 on YouTube. James A Ritter on Facebook. Today's date is November 25th, 2014. This is episode seven, uh, seven, four seventy-nine. We're trying to work our way up to five hundred, not eight hundred. <coughs> Rainy day today. Oh, I wanted to inform you. One of our neighbor's houses caught fire this morning. I forgot to look out at that. Fortunately, it was just his shed that was hooked to his carport. Whoa, evil can evil ahead of us. Oh, slow trucks. I can live with slow trucks better than I can live with idiots like that. So, I'm gonna hit the light anyway, so it don't really matter. Anyway, oh, I called that my tagline now, anyway. <laughs> I was looking at some of my old videos and all of them have anyway in it. <coughs> so, um, it burned down his, half of his, um, shed and melted some of his carport. Yay! It got a little bit of a siding. What got my attention is I heard banging and it sounded like actually an axe going and somebody was cutting wood and I thought, what in the world? Then I see a tail end of, it was in our backyard, so it was a street over and two houses to the right. Yeah, two houses to the right in our backyard and saw a fire truck and I thought, oh, somebody must have I had a heart attack and they're coming to pick him up because nobody has fires in there. <laughs> that may be the first recorded fire in there, but I can guarantee you there aren't very many fires in there. And since it happened in the shed, it was probably oily rags or some kind of stuff like that that can combust all by itself. Anyway, they were hacking, the fire department was hacking away at it, and making sure that there wasn't any flames hidden inside the walls. And so that was our adventure today. And uh, I was just talking to my wife, our neighbors, I've heard it mentioned at least three times, and if not four times, that they go to Puerto Rico for vacation. And what did you say? We are in Puerto Rico. We are in Puerto Rico already. Uh, that must be how they got the inspiration to go to Puerto Rico. In Texas and California and those states up west, they have overabundance of uh, South American and Mexicans. We have an overabundance of mainly Puerto Ricans. And I'm not going to speak badly of them, even though I probably could, but I won't. And uh, other uh, Caribbean Isles, Trinidad, and places like that. So, what's surprising? Well, it shouldn't be so surprising. Those countries were taken over by Spain before they were freed by the American people. Yay! We've got people, uh, NASCAR drivers that are practicing for the Daytona 500. That's why all the reckless driving. We, we were to the DMV yesterday and it was so hard to get a license. I just couldn't understand how these people could have driver's license. But then again, like I mentioned yesterday, maybe the reason it's so easy for them to get driver's license is because they don't have one. And they probably don't have insurance and they're probably either driving a friend's car or something they just picked up, bought cash under the table. So more or less if they get caught with it, it just be reported as a stolen vehicle more than likely, even though they may have even paid cash for it. But anyway, anyway again, 
Um, we are on the lookout for this corner. So I'm gonna let it go right now. Um, don't forget to subscribe down below, leave a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave a comment. Go ahead and share this video with people that you know. You have a great, wonderful day. I'll have a great, wonderful day too. So will Tina. Mm -hmm. Somehow we'll manage to have a great, wonderful day. And, ooh, look at the sky. It's really black up ahead of us. Okay. Um, we will see you later. Um, TTFN. Bye-bye.